Each year, the Chinese, the World Economic Forum issues something called the Global Information Technology Report, uh, in which there, are, there is an index called the Network Readiness Index. It captures a wide array of things uh, in terms of social policy, government policy, industry capability. Uh, it goes very close to summarizing what uh, I put up on the first slide as the Chinese goal of informatization. So um, this annual index, uh, Network Readiness Index, is a very good measure of China's ambition to become uh, an information society and to informatize all aspects of its economy and society. You can see the transition. <coughs> China has slipped in global relativities in network readiness or informatization from 36th in 2011 to 62nd. So for all of these wonderful things that the Chinese have achieved in terms of cyber espionage, scientific achievement, becoming the biggest PC manufacturer in the world, they've actually, in relative terms, slipped. And this is quite interesting in a situation where the Chinese government is regarded or assessed by this index, by the World Economic Forum, to be the single government in the G20 most committed to rapid informatization Pol uh, policies of rapid implementation of industry and society. Underpinning this uh, uh, challenge for the Chinese leaders and others, uh, leaders of countries like Australia, is what is this information society thing? Some people say it's totally radical and totally transformational. Uh, other people say, well, uh, it's perhaps not so transformational. But there's a couple of things that come out of the discussion about well, what, it does, what does it really represent? And one is that almost everybody in the world accepts that the information society is not a technological phenomenon, it is a social and values-based phenomenon. And if you don't have the values right, you don't get the technology right. So this is the big ethical contest that's going on in China right now. If you don't have the values right, you don't get the technology right. That's why China has slipped, and that's why Australia has slipped, because we don't have the values right. Anyway, so that we've got this scene of, in the world of a debate about, is this informatization ambition totally transformational? Does it impact on everything, and in what way does it impact? Well, it impacts uh, on values, and what we found in the case of China is that there's an inevitable dialogue with the world on values for the information age. And since China adopted the policy of becoming an information economy in 1993, and then in the year 2000 adopted the policy of becoming an information society in the year 2000, it has become engaged in, a, in an escalating ethical debate with its citizens and the rest of the world about the values of the information society. That debate is escalating every day. We can look at signs of crackdown in China, but the signs of the crackdown are in reaction in part to the escalating ethical debate. Uh, ethical debate in China is at its highest point since 1989. That this is a value prop values based uh, system. It's not about technology, it's about the values that you have to use the technology. If any country wants to become an advanced information society, it has to promote the national information ecosystem, it has to promote an innovative information-based economy, and it has to participate in the global information ecosystem. And I think as you sit here and you look at those, you'll all sort of um, have different uh, reference points and to, to understand those. But imagine that we're accepting this radical view of transformation, that information technology changes everything, then you can't have an information-based society if you don't have freedom of information. That may sound like an old human rights thing, it's not. It's a functional utilitarian analysis. You can't have an advanced information society, an advanced technology country, if you don't have freedom of information. It's that simple. You want to make blue sky, you've got to have blue and sky. You want to make an information society, you've got to have information. Well, China does not have information freedom. And this is one of the biggest challenges for China, 
in becoming an information society.